Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am in a bed. I came upstairs to the scary room to do a video. I like the quiet up here. You don't hear my refrigerator running. And then I can talk freely and not worry if my mother's trying to listen. But then when I got up here, the chair that I arranged over there the other day has since been covered with junk because I had to move everything off this bed the other day to do an Afghan video. So I piled what was on the bed on that chair over there and um, the bed just looked more tempting. I didn't feel like moving stuff off the chair. So I thought, oh, I'll just lay down and rest a minute. And then I was like, I have no intentions of getting up. So the camera's on. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you like this. I'm so comfy. Oh my god. We could have a pajama party one night. Wouldn't that be funny? If I were ever to do live streaming, and that would probably require sedation, <laughs> it would be so funny to do things like pajama party, and we could all have popcorn and be eating it at the same time, and you guys could be asking me questions and whatever. You never know. You just never know. But I think that this works for me right now. How are you feeling? I'm ready to take a nap. In the summer, this won't work because I'd have to have the air conditioner running, and then that would be louder than the refrigerator. We'll work it out. So I want to talk to you guys about my blogging career and what I've decided, and I've decided that I don't know yet, but I will explain to you what I'm leaning toward. In the past, when I've had businesses, it's like I can tell when they're coming to an end. It takes a mixture of two things. First, it could be that you just get sick of your job, and there's times I get sick of my job, but if I'm still earning decent money, that keeps me going. Then there's a time where the money isn't good, but you still love your job. So you stick with it because you love your job and you're, you're confident you can, you know, bring the money back. But when you're sick of your job and the money is lousy, there's really not a whole lot of incentive to make you keep wanting to do it. So I'm at that point and I'm really taking my time on deciding because it's a big decision. Because I'm not one to say, oh, I'll just take a break from it for a while and then come back. I know if I take a break, it is a break and it is not, there's no returning. It just doesn't work that way. Um, I know many of you say, oh, well, you know, we'll still follow you. Realistically, you won't. Not if you're following me because you want deals. If I stop posting deals, you'll tire of anything else that I post because that's not what you found me for. You found me for a particular thing. So if I change what I'm doing and I do something completely different, it's going to take another whole new audience before I can build up uh, a following for that who will then support me by, you know, going to my blog and visiting and, you know, having me earn through the ads and things like that. I mean, it takes it takes a lot of views on your blog to earn money, and it's even harder if it's not a coupon blog, because with a coupon blog, I can earn with the coupon prints. I won't have that if I change what I'm doing. So, I just don't know. I have thought of so many different scenarios, and I don't think any of them sound good. One would be to start to introduce other things that I want to do and try to continue the couponing also. But if I post coupons with no deals, you're not likely to print the coupon. So that's kind of just a waste of my time and a waste of space on the blog. If I post deals, that's very time consuming because I have to hunt down the deals. You know, I've been doing this for almost five years. And very seldom do I take breaks. I mean, even if I go on vacation, I try to work. So it's been five years of non-stop, and I'm just tired of it. I'm just getting tired of it. It's, it becomes a time where, you know, there's nothing creative involved, and it's hard for me to be excited about it because I'm not couponing really anymore. 
And when I say really not anymore, I mean like never. I just don't know what to do. So I know that I had told you guys that I'm thinking about not posting the flyer. But realistically, I'm thinking of just not doing anything to do with deals at all. I would just like to maybe do creative things, sewing, uh, crafts, and doing videos for those things, doing videos for other things, just, you know, leaning more on YouTube for my income as opposed to my blog. And, you know, it will take a while for my YouTube channel to be earning the money that the blog was earning, the coupon blog was earning, but if I... If I move forward with it and, you know, and go strong with it, um, I can do it. It's just, it's just a matter of time. So, so I don't know. It's very, very hard for me. I don't know if you realize how hard it is for me to let go of this because it's been wonderful for me. And I feel like I'm letting everyone down. And I am. I mean, I'm letting people down. There's no other way to look at it. I'm letting you guys down. If I, if I move on to something else, I have let you down. And I just hope that you can find forgiveness in your heart. Now, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just hope you can understand that it's not because I'm in any way unhappy with how, how the online family has been dealing with things. You know what I mean? I, I'm very, very happy with all that. It just happens that... I just don't think people are printing coupons like they used to. Coupons.com keeps making changes, so it makes it harder to even find good coupons. And, you know, we can't, you know, they changed all the thing with the zip codes. And then the other big, big problem is that the affiliate companies that I do business with don't always trust them. They don't report and track the coupon prints the way they should be. And if you ask for help, you get... Uh, very silly and, you know, useless answers. So it just gets very discouraging after a while. You know, you try really hard to earn and and then, um, it you know, poof, it's gone. You know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. And I'm not asking really for solutions. I know this is my decision, but I just want to let you know that I have all week thought about this constantly. I mean, constantly. All I do is think about it and try to figure out what I want to do. And then it's like, it's so scary to make a change. And then I say, I won't change anything. I'll just continue doing what I'm doing and I'll make it work. But then when I think about, oh, just, you know, typing the, the word coupon again, it's like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know if I can do it. I just don't feel, I just don't feel up to it. I don't think anything was on my blog at all today. I let go of the um, the two who help me on the blog all the time, Trisha and Alice, only because, you know, not to get into how I pay people or whatever, but, you know, the money that I was generating with my blog just isn't coming in anymore. So, I mean, it, I, can't, I can't afford to pay people to post for me if I'm not going to make the money to pay them. So that's why my blog is pretty much bare because I can't, bring myself to go back to posting all the deals. I'm just not interested in it as much as I used to be. And I, I'm trying to find interest again, but it's not coming back. You know that the Shaw's Flyer has been a big part of my blog. Most people come to my blog because they want to see the Shaw's Flyer on Monday. And I know a lot of you are, um, you know, going to be very sad if you don't get that. And I know a lot of you have even suggested to me, like, well, maybe, you know, somebody else could go get it for you and this and that. And it's, you know, there's a lot of things involved. And what it boils down to is really, again, do I even feel like doing it? If it was magically to appear at my house, would I really want to scan that flyer and, and look for deals? And yeah, I don't know. So, so many things like that happening at once, like me just being tired of my job, me being stressed out about going to get the flyer, and then me I, once again having an uncomfortable, I hear children, the street lights are on, time for you to go in. Did you ever have that rule? I had to go in when the street lights came on. And um, anyway, so uh, it's just like all the signs were pointing at, you know, quit this gig, start something else. You guys got a lousy Shaw's Flyer person. You know, I never went out 
to do this gig, I never did. And that's another whole video that I can explain to you at some point how this came about. But somebody else used to post the Shaw's flyer. I asked if I could use their images. They said yes. And then they completely flipped out on me and said they didn't want me to use the images. And it was just a nightmare. And um, so I went to the store and got one and scanned it. And I've been doing it ever since. And I'm pretty sure that's been like over three years now. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the hassle, the stress. For somebody else it wouldn't it wouldn't be stressful, but for me it is. And that's all I can say. So, I just I just want to let you guys know that it's probably leaning toward me not doing it. Don't you think? Doesn't it sound like I'm on my way out? And I am well aware that I will lose a major major portion of my followers, and that is very very sad, and so that is very hard for me. But I, um, I know I'll keep some of you. Some of you will just be curious to see what I'm doing for videos and stuff. And I'm starting to get a new YouTube family who has nothing to do with my deals. So I know there's a new family out there, but I don't want to lose my old family to get my new family. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So I'm just sad. I'm sad and I'm tired. I'm so tired. And today was my mother's 93rd birthday. And I would love to say it was an awesome day, but it was stressful family stuff. You know, it's just, oh, For the first hour and a half or whatever I you know relatives came over and they just go on her side and I don't even go I don't even go over I'm so antisocial and so not wanting to deal with things and it's just very hard for me I I know you guys probably don't know because you think I'm I'm you know I'm on YouTube so that how can I be antisocial well it's because I'm talking to that thing I you know to me there's nobody really there even though I feel like you're there and I feel like the whole world is there I know that if I don't want to publish this, I don't have to. So it's it's totally different. But, um, you know, my mother's here with, like, birthday party, and I don't even go on the other side. And then when I do go on the other side, we end up just having a crappy time, and people are upset, and, you know, it's just... It's just... It's just a, our family dynamics. Oh, my goodness. So it's just been a lousy day. It's been a lousy week, and I feel like I can't keep things from falling apart and I uh, it used to be my main job in life was to try to keep things from falling apart keep the family together keep um businesses going you know it was just I was the the one to fix everything when I stopped drinking I stopped fixing it's like I started working on myself and I'm not doing a very good job with that either but I'm telling you I think that most of the people liked me better when I was a drunk <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Good night. Am I going to publish any of this? I say that every time I do a video, it's like, is there anything I can salvage? But let's go see. So far, I wasn't scared up here, but I got all the lights on and there were still kids outside. So it's like, I don't feel like it's really late. Generally, I'm scared of this upstairs. Of the ghosts that we have. Okay, that is it. We'll do ghost stories another time. So just please put up with me for a little while until I figure out what I'm gonna do. But um, and again, I'm you know I'm not I'm not looking for you to to tell me exactly what to do. Uh, you know I just I just know I already know. So many you're gonna say I oh, will be there no matter what, and I believe you. I believe so many of you will, but I do understand that a lot of you won't. I understand that, and uh, and it's okay. I mean it's just. It's just something that I have to uh, live with if I make a change. With change, you know, stuff goes bye-bye and new stuff comes in. And just I just hope that, um, I just hope I take the right direction. So that's it. I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up because I'm laying down <laughs> on a bed <laughs> with my pillows. I have a big stuffed animal back there. I don't know if you can see part of him, but I almost brought him with me. I'll do that next time. Okay, that is it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!